Yum, yum! Uh, good morning, everyone. Welcome to Pixel Fondue. My name is Chris. And I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the form, using the form editor to change some of your interface so uh, you can kind of remember that there are options that are buried in our tools, right? Sometimes if you haven't been in Modo for a while or you're new to Modo or you're in a situation where you've kind of developed some habits of using the same tools over and over again and sometimes there's other tools available that you can use that are not always obvious but they're not in your site so it's easy to forget about all right so what I'll do is I'll show you a little bit of uh, how to use the form editor to do some of that uh, example right here at the top of my modal bar here you see some of the tools I've made for my own over here I developed some of these and just put these up here because I'll use them occasionally or a lot right but what I'm gonna do is show you a little bit of something that goes on right here right so this this bar is here right I'll show you how you get this let me see go to the system form editor this comes up and if you want to find something you get this button here find form click in it uh, let's go find this okay so here's the selection area if I go up here I've got this highlighted green so we see it the modal modes right right now mine are all just set up as icons and I can change this around right here the small and big don't work right because the size of this but if you look where is it icon only you'll see this text only if you need to read it you can get that uh, let's see text and icons you can start learning what it is and the icon that goes with it All right I've kind of got this figured out so I don't really use both of them so I turn it off to text or uh, icon only because it just gives me some options if I want to add things here and just screen clutter no big deal it's up it's real per personal preference uh, let's see so I'm up in here and there's some things I want to change around uh, right here an example I've got this action center comes up like this and you can tear that off pull that out lots of little things you can do with action centers that if they're not right in front of you sometimes you can forget about them very useful things in here it's not always needed to be the same thing lots of little things you can do right but you can pull that off right and just put it over to the side you can sort of keep this open and around so you can see what's going on right depends on what you're using right I like to do this sometimes so I can remember what's there right or maybe experiment sometimes with something that I'm not normally using but let's see let's look over here for instance there's the symmetry one let's see this fall off right it comes up here I've got all kinds of things with fall offs I could do I can pull it over here get rid of that one if I'm experimenting with using fall offs I can have these here to just remember what's there now I believe the default for this will show you how that works right my fall offs are right here right this thing click that I get this if I know what I'm using I can just click it and be done with it or if I want to use it and try to remember other things about it pull it tear it off and leave it there so I can keep my eye on it well let's see uh, let's see find a form let me see there's that fall off where's that fall off at right here now it comes up here so I go up here to the one above it jump to the references source form I want to see what it's going to do this is the master for that you can see all these things it has available right there's the ad right it's buried in there add it up but this is where this is now if you look if you have this selected you can come down here and it's now it's called a popover form right popover form now some of these have this as a pop-up form now that disappeared because it changed its function if I go over here now you see how it's different I can't pull it off anymore a lot of these up here will do this by default right you use it 
then it just clicks off and disappears, right? I've got my linear fall off, it disappears, and I've got a linear fall off in there, right? The properties will show up over here. But uh, when I'm trying to remember things or I'm trying to learn new tools, I can come up in here and change this to a popover form, right? And now I get this different function where I can pull it off. And I have access to it. I can look at them, learn it without it falling off and disappearing every time I select something. Right? That's how that works. I like it like that. So I can do this. Uh, let's see. Look over here. That's this, right? Let me turn that off. Here's an example of the work plane. Right? Lots of things you can do with the work plane. But once you click it, you kind of get a pop-up that lets you show what you want to do set your settings click OK it's done but if you're trying to learn the work plane and the functions the work plane has you can change this let me see I'll go to the find form click that thing go to this one the one above it usually the one that's grayed out is not the one I want jump to the references source form there we go this is this but its function here is just it pops up you do something and it disappears I want to learn those functions so I want to change this where is it pop up form to a pop over right so I click it now that's how I get that out there and I can put this over here now and start using it when I need it right It'll pop up, let me get my functions, let me do what I want to do, but it stays there and I can keep it in my mind. Sometimes out of sight, out of mind, and you can forget things. A lot of people spend a lot of time in these programs, and even after you've learned it very well, little things you can forget about. And this is a way that you can kind of remind yourself about things, keep things in your mind, and at least in sight so you can play with it a little bit. Uh, here's a quick example of just if I hit alt in my space bar I get the quick access popover which has one on it right you can keep this handy so you can see some of this thing this fall off button here is this one open the fall off popover these do the same things right if you want to pull that off there's my action centers Selection. This is another. This is a good one to have out sometimes. Remember about things you can do to select. You got all these little hotkeys. You want to remember them. This is a good way to do that. Keep these ready to go. And if you want to find these things, you have to go to that uh, form editor. Let me find that. Find form. Let me see. Click in there. Go find it. There it is. There's that action center. It's set up as a popover form. If it's set up as a pop-up form, you're just going to click something, use it, and it's over. Right? It's done. Right there. See, it changed. Right? I don't want that. I'm going to go back. Let me see. Pop-up form, pop-over. There we go. These are the ones I like because if I need to learn something, remember something, or stay familiar with something, I like to be able to tear these off and keep them pinned so I can see what's happening. Let me get rid of this stuff. Show you real quick. Right? The work plane popover doesn't do this. You have to change it yourself if you want to do that. Uh, let's see, where's this? If you look, this is the symmetry button. I've got symmetry on right now, right? If you hover over it, It'll tell you. If I hold the Alt button when I'm over this, I can, pu I can pull that over. Right? I can get this, keep it out here so I can remember what's happening. Turn it on. Now I'm on the X. You know, you can kind of see what's happening here. Right? But one of the big ones I like to have out is my fall off. And that's one of the ways to do that. Use the form editor to go find things and change this part right here right right in here the pop-up form just shows you 
so, uh, the pop-up form shows it when you need it. As soon as you select something, it disappears. The pop-over form will give you the ability to tear it off and pin it to your interface so you can keep it in your mind. Keep it in front of you so you can kind of learn some things. Uh, I hope I didn't ramble too much on that, but that gives you a little bit of an idea what happens, right? So I can get rid of this. And if I'm comfortable with what I've done, right over here I've got my save configure so whenever I'm ready to configure something or I think I'm okay with it and I want to keep it I can just hit that button I don't even have to use that all def 12 right sometimes I'm working on a Cintiq and I've got a pen out and hitting that little icon is a lot faster than taking my finger away from my navigation oh, but anyway that's another moto moment <laughs> Yum, yum!